Today I want to show you how to make a simple diamond ring cookie using candy melt and fondant. I'm using this mold that I got from Wilton. I'll put a, I'll post a link. But as you can see, I filled up nine cavities with pink candy melt. Melted it, filled it in, popped out one. This is what it looks like. They come cleanly out of the cavity, which is great. I use this beaded mold that I'm going to use for the outer edge. I'm going to paint the innermost part of this diamond ring cookie cutter. This one has the prongs on it. Painting right on the innermost part. I mean, excuse me, the outermost part of that cookie because I have already separated this. I used a, um, what do you call those things? Pizza cutter to cut this apart so that I could only use this, uh, the two lines of the beads on here. I've already cut a piece of this apart because this is what I want to be up at the prong. And then I'm gonna wrap it around this cookie To fit and then I'm going to cut off the excess at the top with a pizza cutter and then I'm going to separate that part let me move that out of the way because I don't want to cut it so that it too fits the side and I'm going to use something else to cut that excess off so there are two pieces of the bead that need to be cut off right there where it meets the prong. Okay, so you've got to shape this so that it fits and come in and move that down to the edge because this has to fit in that center. Okay, turn that back on its side. Move that over. Okay, so to get this to fit, make it into a circle. You may have to mess around with it a little bit to get it to fit down in there. But you want the prongs in. See how that looks? And then to bring this together at the bottom. To get the chocolate to stick, put a little of the candy milk behind it just a dab and then you stick it right down on there and then it'll stay so here is a simple diamond ring cookie I'm going to show you a different one this is one this diamond ring cookie I've already got this on here I did the three lines this time because I wanted to make sure that it fit this whole mold side. So I've already used white fondant in this mold and I've got it curved around here, but it's not stuck. So I'm gonna put a little pipe of gel on the back. Now I'm gonna turn it back over. It's still pliable. It's not dry yet. Now this diamond ring is coming out of a mold that I just bought. And this needs to be trimmed. I'll put the link to this jewel mold in the description as well. Okay, this needs to be trimmed. any excess off the sides you can actually fill this diamond with anything um, these are solid but you don't have to keep them solid I'm just gonna put a little dab so you can see dab of white chocolate on the bottom and then slide it into place and then move 
glue bed into place. Now you've got a diamond ring, cookie, that a person would love to get at their engagement party. I can spray this with edible luster dust to give it a little sparkle. I can do the same thing with the pink, um, but I just don't want that to show on the cookie because see, this part on the cookie is fine because it just looks like shimmery. It looks like a high-end cookie. And you see, that took no time to make. My goal is to show you things that will help you make money in your business, get you in and out of the kitchen quick, quickly, and go on to other things. I like both of these cookies. These are very simple to make. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, leave comments. Let me know when you make this stuff so that I know what you're doing. Good luck with your business. Take care.